Welcome to Ashley Scarborough Beauty. Today, I'm going to show you how to bake. So what is baking, you may ask? Well, I'm not referring to a cooking method. I'm not going to show you how to bake a cake or muffins. The baking that I'm referring to is also a makeup technique. Now, this technique has actually been around for a long time, especially in the drag community, because it's known to help you achieve a flawless look. Baking is similar to highlighting, although it doesn't use a shimmery product like highlighter, but it highlights and brightens the face. It involves letting loose powder sit on the face for about 10 minutes and then gently brushing it away. As a result, you get a chisel chiseled, sculpted face that minimizes pores and brightens your eyes. The look is very popular with many celebs, including Kim Kardashian West, who uses the method of Conceal Bake Brighten. So the products you will need to get a perfect bake are an eye cream. An inexpensive yet high quality hydrating eye cream is best. A moisturizer can also be used, but using a cream specifically for eyes is the best. This is, is the Age Reverses eye cream from Pharmacy, and it is the product that I use and really like. You also need under eye concealer or a concealer. A multi-purpose concealer is good um, as well, but it's best to use one that's designed for under eye because it can reduce the risk of creasing. Concealer in general is used for hiding imperfections and redness. Typically, um, you would want to use one that matches your skin tone. And then translucent powder. Now this is where the actual term baking comes from. This will help set your cream or liquid products that you use, and since it's translucent, it doesn't alter the shade in any way. Then you also will need a setting spray. So this will is used to set all of your makeup, and you wanna use one that feels light on the skin. I'll be using Time Locker from Pharmacy. So I've actually done the first few steps of my makeup application. I've applied my moisturizer, primer, foundation, and contour. So this is where I can actually begin the highlighting and baking process. It's important that you don't skip any steps. Each one works together to give a sculpted, fresh look. So step one would be to hydrate your eyes by applying the eye cream, which I did prior to my primer and foundation applications. Areas that will be baked need to be free from creases and wrinkles. Hydration is so important. It's such an important step and you will want to apply the eye cream along the lower lash line, upward along the apples of the cheeks, and back towards the eye. So you're going to hit this area right through here. This is gonna be the area that gets baked. So you need to have lots of hydration and moisture specifically in that area to avoid any creasing. Step two is applying the concealer. So I'll be using this concealer by Pharmacy in the shade Light Ivory. So you want to apply a thick layer of concealer in the same area as the eye cream and blend it in with a damp sponge. So I'm gonna go along my lower lash line and down towards um, uh, the end of my nose. We wanna make it parallel with our end of our nose. And typically, um, since I haven't done my actual highlighting, this will also be the time where I can apply the concealer to the other areas of my face that I am um, highlighting as well. Okay, so once you have your concealer applied, you want to use a damp um, beauty blender or sponge to blend it in, and you want to blend it in really good. Another tip is that if you have dark circles or a lot of darkness under your eye, you can use a concealer that is a color correction concealer. So typically for dark circles, you wanna use a concealer that is like an orange or peachy toned uh, tint. And so this would be where you, when you would apply that specific color concealer under your eyes. 
use the tinted uh, concealer to cover up any dark circles. So I'm just using a damp beauty blender to really um, work that concealer in. And um, I'm pushing it into the skin here and making sure that it's blended in really well so that it's a seamless uh, application where concealer and your skin meet. So we want to make sure that we don't leave any uh, creases or wrinkles. Step three is to apply more concealer. So many people are tempted to skip this step. Applying a second layer of concealer seems like a lot of makeup but this helps to ensure the overall look lasts longer and looks brighter. So again, with my damp beauty blender, I'm going to blend in this second layer taking the time to really cover and smooth out any creases or wrinkles before I move on to the next step. This second layer should be the light color concealer. So when I talked about earlier using a, a color correction concealer, if you have dark circles, when you apply your second layer of concealer, it needs to be the light color concealer. Because the whole purpose of the baking is to brighten and lighten the face or certain areas of the face. Okay, so moving on to step four, applying the translucent powder. So using a soft, fluffy, smaller brush, you're going to apply the powder under or over the concealed areas. So a loose powder is best and it goes on easier and it covers a wider area. And you just want to gently tap the powder onto the skin. Now step five is to actually bake the makeup. So using a clean sponge or beauty blender, take your uh, setting spray Spray your beauty blender or your sponge. Get it really wet and moistened and then apply the powder to the concealed area. I'm also going to bake right down the uh, my jaw and um, the jawline or above the jawline because this um, will add to that chiseled sculpted look and really define my jaw and my face. Okay, so step six is to let the powder set. So you need to leave the powder on for about 10 minutes 
Uh, more than 10 minutes can make it hard, harder to remove, but leaving it on less than five minutes does not give the, uh, the same effect. So while I bake, I'm going to do my eye makeup, and when I complete my eye makeup, I can move on to step seven, which is brushing off all this powder. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have my eyes done, I can move on to step seven, which is brushing off all of this loose powder. So using the same fluffy brush as before, I can gently brush away all this loose powder, leaving behind a fresh, vibrant face. Um, if you happen to notice any harsh lines or creases, just use a foundation powder to blend it into the skin. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video on how to bake. Some makeup artists do not like the method of baking because they feel that it is an unnecessary makeup procedure or makeup method that's just not needed. They feel that it's too much product on the skin and that if you don't hydrate and moisturize, it's not gonna give you a flawless look. That is why hydration and moisturization of the skin prior to baking is so important. It's gonna dry fast and then you're not gonna get that chiseled, sculpted, flawless look if you don't hydrate and moisturize. Other makeup artists swear by the baking method and think it's the best. I personally think it's a matter of preference. Couple tips that I do wanna share if you do choose to bake is the moisturization and hydration. I already talked about how important that is. And also, I recommend that you don't even leave the powder, the loose powder on for 10 minutes. I know that it's taught in our makeup school that you can go five to 10 minutes. Anything over 10 minutes, your powder is going to dry and harden too fast and makes it harder to remove. But I personally think that 10 minutes is even too long and maybe five is more sufficient. So anyways, I will be sure to link the products that I used uh, down below. I will share a few things that I used with you. I did use the Natasha Denona Eye Palette as well as this glitter. Um, it's called Pure Gold and it's by Eloise and it's a um, very s silky smooth glittery uh liquid that you, that I put on my um, eyelids. And then I use the KK Beauty um, Lip Crayon and it is in Glossy Mink is the color. Anyways, thanks for watching and take care of yourself and I will see you again soon. Bye.